This is Messages from the Universe with Lori Wondra of Your Life Core. Here, Lori delivers information from the Mastery Realms related to astrology, planetary influences, energy surges, and generally how we are evolving. She connects with angels, guides, ascended masters, astral beings, and those that come forward with messages to help us on our journey. Welcome, everyone, to Messages from the Universe podcast. Hello, I am Lori Wondra, and thank you for listening. Today, let's dive into the Lion's Gate. What is the Lion's Gate? When is it? Why do we call it the Lion's Gate? Is it just simply another portal? Well, the Lion's Gate is believed to be a time when the universe creates a window of energy surge that has a chance to elevate our soul, to create transformation opportunities and transmuting old energy into something new. Now, it opens every year and it brings a time of loving kindness and generosity and flow and abundance. It's a time that reminds us to be in the flow of infinity. That's because it happens during August. And that is the number eight. And eight turned sideways reminds us of ever turning energy that ebbs and flows, getting stronger and then quiet. Infinity. The Lion's Gate, we begin to see the return of Orion. And all those stargates, the sun and Sirius, both of those carry the masculine archetypes, bring a blast of go energy, move energy, conquer energy. And the time frame is usually always around August 8th through 15th. Really, the gateway is when we begin to see the return of the constellation Orion. But as humans, we love numbers and symbols. So, of course, we love the numbers 8-8, August 8th. Now, in 2024, if we were to reduce 2024, 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 4, that equals 8 also. So, the belief is the gateway of the Lion's Gateway in August of 2024 is super magical because it falls on 8-8 of an 8 year. So many are celebrating this triple eight day. And some of the beliefs are that the third eyes everywhere will open on August 8th as the bold sun in Leo aligns to the star Sirius, known as the spiritual sun, and generates a high frequency energy that activates the Lion's Gate portal, thus opening of the window. In numerology, eight is the number of infinity and manifestation. It's a time of opportunity. That 8-8 day is sandwiched between a new moon on August 4th in Leo and then the full moon in Aquarius on August 19th. We could say the new moon on August 4th in Leo represents the archetype I will. It's about creativity, pursuit of pleasure, love affairs, happiness, but it also brings in courage, self-expression, and boldness. It allows us to set intents and be bold about what those intents might be. And then the full moon in Aquarius on August 19th, Aquarius's archetype is I know, and this is about friends and networks and social circles. It's hopes and wishes and innovation. When I look at those three events put together, the new moon, the full moon, and of course the lion's gate between those two, I think we're up for some great opportunities for shifting and changing and being creative. That's if we can use the energy of Leo to be courageous. So what is this annual cosmic event that we celebrate each and every year? Well, it is a powerful cosmic spiritual energy portal. And we can thank Sirius, the brightest star in the sky. Thus, it's aligning perfectly with Orion's belt. Some say that it also aligns perfectly with the pyramids of Giza in Egypt. And Sirius is the star of abundance, creativity, and devotion. That in the time of Leo, which is packed with creativity, courage, self-expression, and boldness. When these forces join and this portal that's named the Lion's Gate opens, The energy is about manifestation. It's about transformation. It's about bringing balance to your life. 
and the energy is increased exponentially. So of course, it's a time that we want to take advantage of this energy. The zodiac sign of Leo is ruled by the sun, and it in turn rules the heart. So when the sun in Leo aligns with Sirius, the star of devotion, it opens the door to intense love and the awakening of the divine, or at least the possibility to experience intense love and the awakening to the divine. The time of the lion's gate portal is a chance to recognize your personal power and begin to allow it to grow. I believe we begin to feel the energy of the lion's gateway as early as July 26th. And I feel that it stays open beyond August 15th. This is where we feel the vibrations of opportunity. The full force is in that window of time between August 8th and 15th. I really don't want to bombard you with a bunch of dates and leave you with this sense of fear that I have only this small window of time to access this information or this energy. This would be a time for you to be very aware of the messages, the information, your feelings, those things that are happening to you as an individual, because all of us have access to this energy when we experience it is how we interact with the portals and the gateways. So be diligent, be open, be aware of the messages that are coming for you. When you are open and aware, you'll feel the vibration of this energy. You'll feel when it's peaking, and that might be around August 8th or 8-8. In numerology, 8 is about power and balance. It is the power to bring your life into perfect harmony, be it financial stability, emotional well-being, realized ambitions, or setting goals and working towards something in the future. It's also a time of purging negativity and releasing those things that you don't need to allow for things to come in. Might be not spending so that you can save. All of these are in balance and all of these hopes and goals are already enhanced by the activation of the Lion's Gate. And the numerology power of 8-8 offers you another spiritual boost or a reminder of how to be in balance and use the energy. On its side, the number 8 becomes the symbol of infinity, symbolizing infinite manifestation and linking to the divine inside of you and the universe as a whole, that ebb and flow. So what does the lion's portal really do? Well, the lion's gate portal is a massive influx of energy from the cosmos. But what exactly does that energy do while it's open? Well, here are a few possibilities. It enhances love. Now, love is the greatest power of all. And when aligned with the heart of the lion, it helps you access your inner divine love, truth, and your light. This is the time of full soul embodiment in physical form when you'll be filled to overflowing with its strength, courage, and the desire to be a force for good. You'll realize the full power of divinity within you and access divine creative intelligence and become the person you were always meant to be. This means awakening to what's always been there. It's not new. It's just being aware that it is there. This energy shifts us all into a more enlightened and evolved state, bringing dramatic new beginnings, new levels of consciousness, and helps us manifest the ascension of humankind together. The energy of the portal aligns with the emerald green heart chakra and makes the solar plexus chakra glow like a golden yellow sun, amplifying your self-confidence, your willpower, your inner balance, and ability to truly love yourself. Your soul shines brightest now, for you are on the path of personal mastery. This is when the balance of light and dark within your soul is achieved. We often don't think that we have both light and dark within us. We like to talk about the light, but we all have shadow, and it's about being in balance. It also activates energy to bring in partners and soulmates. Whether you have love in your life or you're seeking it, Your love energy will radiate with the warmth and beauty of the sun, acting like a call out to the universe to summon like vibrations to you. This gateway also provides the opportunity to increase your ability to manifest. Your third eye will open wide if you have 
practices such as meditation, making your intuition blossom, your creativity manifest, you will be able to receive illuminating guidance from your guardian angels, the divine, the higher sources of wisdom. It also helps you tap into the stream of abundance and the flow of resources. This allows you to increase in those areas that you might be desiring to manifest. All you need to do is listen, hear, be open, receive. When I say listen, I stress that it's listen without filters. It's allowing to come to you what needs to come. Also during this time, it's a chance to clear negativity. The ability to love and find balance within yourself during this time will allow you to release toxic relationships, old habits that have maybe held you back, and any negative assumptions about life. Many people hold on to plans that just don't fit their life, so therefore they're blocking the opportunity of what life could be. The sudden surge of high-frequency energy can overwhelm one's chakras and their senses, but there's nothing to fear. If you feel yourself feeling jittery or anxious, you'll become calm when you recognize that great love and the light that is being channeled through you. This is here to help your soul evolve to a higher state. You're being charged or uplifted by divine forces. If you feel this jittery, relax, get in water, get out in nature, calm yourself. Sometimes we are too active for these energies to come to us, and so sometimes we get very tired. Illnesses might also occur. This is the way the universe is slowing us down so that we can rest so that changes can transpire. And lastly, during this time, it is a time to accelerate our transformation. This is about making changes in your life that can be difficult, whether they are internal or external. Just trust that the universe has your best interest at heart right now as you put your hopes and ambitions at the forefront of your mind. Allow your inner divinity to shine now and take you from where you are to where you desire to go. You will be supported. Now, this gateway happens every year, so you won't miss it. The opportunities that come to us each year are different, and they are different depending on where we are on our journey, those things that we've cleared or healed, or those things that we've learned. If you've been exploring and understanding and healing and releasing your wounds, that includes your ancestral and your DNA history, those pathways will open for you this year. If you perhaps have not been working on those things, the pathways to work on those things may open for you. It is individual and unique to each and every single one of us as to where we are. We cannot compare ourselves to what others are experiencing or where they are on the journey path. The universe is very intelligent and it works with us on our intelligence. I'm doing a number of events this year to bring this energy forward. And when I say this energy, it is always for whatever it is needed for the individuals that are present. So whether it's sound healing, whether it's drumming, whether it's public channeling, it is for who is there at that given moment, what they need at that given moment. And we need to trust in the universe that wherever we are, the universe brings to us what we need at that given moment. I've also been working with the outer tribes of the universe. What I mean by that is those of higher dimensions, those beyond what we see and feel. Many of you know, I've been channeling for years, but the voices or those resources are changing. I'm developing more educational material about the next phases that we're in because we're always changing and developing and we always need additional help. The teachers of the past are still there for those that are on that phase of the journey. But there are other teachers that are coming in for us that are maybe working at a different level. There are always times where we have natural access to this information. And they remind me to talk about flow versus force because we can't force the changes. We are where we are and we aren't where we aren't. If you found yourself being frustrated with information that you're not getting, it simply means perhaps you're not ready or that information is not ready yet. Be patient. You're not missing anything with this gateway. You are getting exactly what you need to prepare you for the future. 
There's also an overload of false information that continues to sidetrack many of the healers, conspiracy theories, or fear-based stories that are a test for humanity or test on the belief systems. Access to fifth dimension or higher requires you to be heart-centered, and you simply will not be allowed access if you are not able to function from that heart. Keeping in mind those dimensions, they're not a destination. It's a way of becoming. It's access. The truth is we still live on earth. We still live in a third dimension. We still are humans having a human experience. The soul is wanting to grow, but the humans are still here. I understand why so much energy and information has been coming through to prepare us to live more authentically in the heart. For weeks now, it seems like all my teachers and guides have wanted to talk about is the expansion and the growth and the healing of the heart. And I know that has been challenging for many people as you're experiencing changes within your own personal environments or your own lives, as well as so much negativity around us. But that creates a barrier between you and living from a heart-centered existence. So I would caution. Those things that take you away from living in your heart, stay away from them. Leave them to the side. Those things push you further away from your true self. Those things may create a greater separation between being that heart-centered self. Cosmic information is coming to us. I want that cosmic information. So therefore, I choose to be in my heart. That's a choice that we all have. Choosing access to the cosmic information requires work. And that work is to heal and understand heart wounds, how to love and keep that vibration of love in existence. And you might say, well, what is this cosmic information? How do I know I want it? Well, think back to maybe school age where you were learning as a child. And if your teacher read a book to you and you didn't understand all the vocabulary or the syntax was off, you would not understand the concepts. You would not understand the story. We too must learn the syntax and the sentence structure and new words or a different meaning to an old word, maybe a different belief because our beliefs are changing through our experiences. So this energy teaching is coming to us in layers and it will require us to have more experiences, to learn the syntax and the structure and shift our beliefs so that we learn the message. We learn what the code means to us as individuals, to us, not others. You are an individual and you're developing the understanding for you. It's understanding as an individual, you And another person can have the exact same event, but experience different things. That's exactly what's happening. As the universe opens up these gateways, not everybody is going to access this information. And even if everyone accesses this information, not everyone will process it the same. Because when we process the information, it is through our individual filters. It is through our experiences. It's through our cataloging systems. It's through our vocabulary. It's through our heart. It's through our version of love. Many humans don't like this part because it confuses us. We try to tie it to old and old with new boundaries. It's time for information to come to us that we might not understand, but we do get to accept it. Don't try to deny it, change it, or argue with it. Just be with it. Understand that the definition or the experience or the aha moment might come at a later time. I do know that in August or through this gateway, our senses are heightened. The universe allows that. It's like our humanness opens up. We might hear or be more sensitive to sound or tastes or feelings. We also might experience a sudden knowing or a sudden firmness on who is around you. Yes, I do want that person here, or no, I don't want that person here. And this would be a time for us to practice our self-care, be aware where we are, what we're doing, where our energy is, watch what stories that we're watching or not watching, what's being pushed out 
more as a means maybe to bring us back into that place of fear. When you're fearful, you cannot receive the energy from the cosmos because fear acts as a blockage for us. Your energy then becomes focused on survival and not thriving. You're focusing on what do I need to do to protect myself versus I trust the universe has me and I'm just receiving. And this time, this year, I feel like the energy is the gift of going within. It's not external. Don't get distracted. Those things that are happening around you are external and they are meant to distract you from spending the time of going within. Remember, you are always connected to source. It's a false belief that we have become separated. We simply need to remember or acknowledge we are plugged in. The teachings are to encourage us to go within for our connection and not look external. Much of the cosmic teachings are to help us forward, and we will only hear those messages if we have let go or are fully prepared to leave things behind and embrace the future as something we may not have a knowing of. The teachings are here to guide us, but with any teaching, it's new, and sometimes we don't like new. The questions of who am I continues to come in during this time. There are times in our lives that we ask, who am I? How did I get here? Where do I want to go? What is my purpose? These times of progression and questioning are about our journey. They seem to come more quickly now, and this is a gateway in August that we will again be asked those questions. These are often indicators that the universe or our guides and our loved ones are stepping in to help us align. If we're questioning, who am I? Why am I here? What am I doing? This is an opportunity for shift. You might be feeling this more now than ever. I've seen more clients recently that say, I just don't feel like myself. And that might be true because you're emerging or evolving and a new version of you is emerging. It's like the butterfly hatching from its cocoon. This time of year and the Lion's Gateway portal creates an opportunity for us to receive information from the cosmos, from the universe that gives us a new roadmap. So as we emerge with these new beautiful butterfly wings, we have a map, a roadmap as to what to do with these wings, where to go, how to use them, how to navigate. And that can be a magical adventure if we just trust and allow. I'm also noticing, and I've been spending more time working with the collective energies. They bring information from higher levels than previously allowed tribes or planets that are now making themselves known to us. I have been feeling this for quite some time, but I know that by the end of the year, there will be new and additional teachers that will be guiding us, those from a higher level. And I get excited about that because simply what that means is we are evolving. And I would say those that are listening to this fall into that category that you are evolving and that you will want those from beyond that have higher or different wisdom and knowledge. You might find yourself saying, I'm tired of hearing the same thing over and over again. I want new information. And this would be the time where those teachers of beyond can bring that new information to you. The universe gives us the opportunity to receive, to plant those codes, those keys, those programs within us that help transmute and transform ourselves. The universe gives us time to be in that energy. The universe gives us time to adjust our compass through our emotions so that we are clear on our path, so that we understand where we've come from and can review it or look back upon it, but not be restrained by it. And we can look forward ahead using our new map to guide us forward. And as you embark on this journey ahead, I'll continue to encourage you to explore inward, more inward than outward. Connect with your higher self, your inner light. Remember that all that happens out there also happens within. This is reflected in the tree of life. What is above is also below. What is outward is also inward. And remember that this gateway, this portal happens every year and it pushes us to be open, to accept what the universe is 
delivering to us. It's going to push you. It's going to push you to heal. We still have Chiron sitting in Aries and that continues to push us in the areas of the I am energy, those things that we are shedding and understanding about ourselves. We get a choice of keeping them or discarding them. And as the lion's gate swings wide open, here are a few things to ponder. Things that you might want to let go of or adopt as a new way of being. Like a compass, all is not perfect and it doesn't have to be perfect. If you wait for all the specifics or the perfect path, you might miss the journey. Your soul is here to have the experience. Allow it to have the experience. Good, bad, ugly, happy, whatever the experience is. Trust your humanness that your humanness will guide you and is agile enough to navigate through any experience. As humans, we're also meant to ponder, who am I? What am I doing here? And why am I doing what I do? This is our journey. And this is a time where we get to question because that is how we go internal and we learn about who we are. And when we ponder who we are, we have the ability to tap into our cellular structure that takes us back into past lifetimes, into the DNA codes that maybe bring gifts or memories forward. And when our souls get on board or are ready for an evelation or an evolution, we do evolve. We're not exactly the same today as we were yesterday. We're not the same that we were last year at the Lion's Gate. And knowing you will be slightly different tomorrow from who you are today. Remember that it's a journey. It's progress. Before we sign off today, I'd like to gift you with light codes from the universe given to you by my son, Jake Wandra. Light codes are codes and keys that come in all sorts of different ways. And Jake has a gift of bringing in codes that activate things that are dormant within us. Also, new programs, new ways of doing things, new information. Also, part of the codes and keys can turn off things that we no longer need. You won't necessarily understand the words or the sounds that he is delivering, It's more of a feeling, and I invite you to open yourself and just experience. You might notice where you are feeling, what you are feeling, if you have an overall sense of calm and peace, and let these codes of the universe wash over you, turn off what needs to be turned off, and ignite those things within you that might be ready to be ignited. Sit back, take a gentle breath, and just allow. Ikita for who study him, Rupun, the gate or raw. Yafrakan tan shistaki in, I eat of Ruko. Yan pato rakan, yes, to Rohun. Ifro o contoja he, I eat a crahanta de heat, ni yet or raw or rack. Yata for whom, the he shat a crahan he heat, a yet mio tayeta en, so cram pay. I eat a carara o hus, maya, kuhun, hae. Ah, just take a deep breath. You might be wondering, what was that? It might sound like a foreign language. Light codes are a higher vibration of energy. As we are energetic beings, our mental state doesn't have to understand the words or the sounds. We are absorbing the vibration. And light codes and energy can come through in the form of light through the sun through colors, and through vibration or tones. As we move into the end of 2024 and move towards 2025 and 2026, we will continue to be more intrigued and more curious about sound healing, vibration, frequency, languages, and of course, tones and sounds of the universe. NASA has already begun its recordings of all the planets and space sounds. You can listen to those on NASA's website. Light codes are meant for your highest divine purpose, and I hope that these gifted to you today are embraced and used for your divine highest purpose. All the love from the universe shines upon you. I wish the best for you. I'm Lori Wondra of Your Life Corps, and thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to Messages from the Universe podcast with Lori Wondra of Your Life Core. 
for current events or to schedule a private session with Lori, please visit yourlifecore.com.